5 seconds to go. Start. Chapter 5 of the Pension Regulations for the Army 1961 deals with Territorial Army. The Regulation number 292 of the Pension Regulations for the Army 1961 read thus, the grant of pensionary awards to the members of the Territorial Army shall be governed by the same general regulations as are applicable to the corresponding personnel of the army except where they are inconsistent with the provisions of regulations in this chapter. It could thus be seen that the grant of pensionary awards to the members of the territorial army shall be governed by the same rules and regulations as are applicable to the corresponding persons of the army except where they are inconsistent with the provisions of regulations in the said chapter. Chapter 3 of the Pension Regulations for the Army 1961 deals with disability pensionary awards in which regulation number 173 reads thus, primary conditions for the grant of disability pension unless otherwise specifically provided a disability pension cons consisting of service element and disability element may be granted to an individual who is invalided out of service on account of a disability which is attributable to or aggravated by military service in known battle casualty and is assessed at 20 percent or over. The perusal thereof will reveal that an individual who is invalided out of service on account of disability which is attributable or aggravated by military service in known battle casualty and is assessed 20 percent or more would be entitled to disability pension. The respondents are not in a position to point out any rules or regulations which can be said to be inconsistent with regulation number 292 or 173 neither has any other regulation been pointed out which deals with the terms and conditions of service of ETF. The communication of the Union of India dated 31st March 2008 wide which the President of India has granted sanction itself reveals that the sanction is for raising two additional companies for 130 infantry battalion territorial army ecological. It is thus clear that the ETF is established as an additional company for 130 infantry battalion of territorial army. It is not in dispute that the other officers or enrolled persons working in the territorial army are entitled to disability pension under regulation number 173 read with regulation number 292 of pension regulations for the army 1961. When the appellant is enrolled as a member of ETF which is a company for 130 infantry battalion territorial army we see no reason as to why the appellant was denied the disability pension specifically so when the medical board and COI have found that the injury sustained by the appellant was attributable to the military service and it was not due to his own negligence. In case of conflict between what is stated in internal communication between the two organs of the state and the statutory rules and regulations, it is needless to state that the statutory rules and regulations would prevail. In that view of the matter, we find that AFT was not justified in rejecting the claim of the appellant. The respondents have heavily relied on the document dated 30th August 2007 titled Certificate. No doubt that the said document is signed by the appellant wherein he had agreed to the condition that he will not be getting any enhanced pension for having been enrolled in this force. Firstly, we find 
that the said document deals with enhanced pension and note disability pension as already discussed here in above a conjoint reading of section 9 of the territorial army act 1948 and regulation numbers 292 and 173 of the pension regulations for the army 1961 would show that a member of the territorial army would be entitled to disability pension in any case in this respect even accepting that the appellant had signed such a document it will be relevant to refer to the following observations of this court in the case of Central Inland Water Transport Corporation Limited and another versus Brojo North Ganguly and another. We have a constitution for our country. Our judges are bound by their oath to uphold the constitution and the laws. The constitution was enacted to secure to all the citizens of this country social and economic justice stop